time. Hello everyone and welcome to the Hell Let Loose Spring Seasonal 2022. Uh, this is the qualifier match between The Line and HLL Polsky and CC. The match will be taking place on Utah Beach. We're already locked and loaded into the game. We're just kind of waiting for the teams to uh, get together and uh, then we're going to jump right in. But uh, in the meantime, joining me today is none other than Crotalus, known, also known to many of you as Carib Canuck, but he recently did a name change. So, uh, want to say hello? Oh, you're muted. Oh, you're still muted. Uh-oh. It's working a minute ago. Yeah, I still can't hear you. Anyway. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm working now. There it is. There we go. We got you now. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty exciting match today. It's going to be on Utah Beach. And, uh, you know, the line, they're, they're a very solid team. In fact, they... They quite literally wrote the book on tanking in this game. They have the uh, they have the tank Bible. It was them who wrote that. I'm pretty sure, and um, so I'm guessing they're gonna they're gonna have competent tank crews today. We'll see what happens with HLL Polsky and CC. Uh, overall, looking forward to it. It's gonna be a really fun match. So, uh, and we're just kind of. We're waiting. Looks like people inside the game are readying up. So I'm going to swap to the setup view right here. All right. I've been instructed to join a particular squad. I'm looking for them right now. I believe it was. Okay. Josh 1874. He's one of the people I can join. All right. Howdy, boys. I'll be your streamer for the day. Y'all are live on Twitch, so uh, say hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Twitch. <laughs> Hold on. I see we're all loading in. Got the match set up here, so I'll let you all do your thing. And uh, good. best of luck to all of you. Good luck, have fun. All right, so we are in the match warm-up phase. It's probably going to keep going on for a minute or two. I'm going to go ahead and do up my settings here. I believe it is home. There it is. Okay, perfect. Very interested to see how this is going to play out. Hoping to see some nice, tight gameplay. And uh, there will be plenty of action today. And in the meantime, going to go ahead and swap over. And we will jump into the game view. So, Crotalus, what do you think is going to happen today? I honestly have no idea yet. 
I don't either. But uh, whatever it is, it's gonna be interesting. Freedom, are you spawning on me at all? Uh, I'm building. Uh, shit all right, right are you using truck to boost? Uh, for for now. Uh, all right, and away we go. So it looks like the uh, first the point of the day is going to be uh, WN4. This is uh, quite a difficult point to uh, retake uh, after it's been capped. So, okay, that's fine. interested to see what our what our uh, what our teams are going to do here. So let's see. We've got we've got the HLL Polsky guys rolling up. Got a few transport trucks worth from each side. Looks like they're all going to bum rush the point. We'll see who gets the initiative here. And uh, these first moments in this game are going to be absolutely critical. Because uh, as anyone who has played Hell Let Loose before knows, if you take the center point, then that just gives you a massive advantage. Already we've got artillery raining down on the point as both teams advance in. Looks like the poles have dismounted. They're already inside the strong point. They're starting to cap. We've got the line advancing up. Right, and I nearly forgot. I was asked specifically to uh, play a sound bite to uh, introduce the line, so I will go ahead and do that right now. In a world of nothing, of barren hills and cracked earth, and once proud oceans drained to sand, there will still be a monument to our existence, bleached by the sun, perhaps, and blunted by time, but everlasting, because this group represents all that is eternal in the human experience. Through the curtain of the Aurora, a comet blazes to herald their arrival as the last bastion of the dignity of North America. And their <laughs> victory shall be transcribed into every language known to history. I give you America itself. The Line. The Line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I wish I did that a bit earlier. I kind of whiffed that. So, apologies to uh, guys from the line who wanted me to play that. But, alright. Well, it looks like this is pretty hotly contested here at WN4. Lots of artillery raining down on both sides. Just getting absolutely hammered here. And, uh... Our, our Polish friends, they did push in. It looked like they might have uh, been about to cap it, and uh, the line just said, nope, we're going to march in and stop you from doing that. So, WN4. Still no man's land. Looks like uh, they've got recon going up over it now, so in just a minute here. Well, I won't be able to see the blips on the map, but I also don't need to. I've got a live feed. Wow. New OPM-5. Alright, looks like there's going to be a bit of an engagement here. Oh, it's assault that's uh, taken out. Right, it's a hard place to recapture when they get entrenched. Yeah, and that's due in part to uh, all of the barbed wire. Like, all of this on the map, all these red lines, this is all barbed wire. Obviously, up here, it's out of bounds, but, like, if you're infantry, you can't go through that. You have to find you have to find a path in between them or just go around or get a vehicle. So, interestingly enough, at the, there, at the, like uh, the beginning of the game here, there was a... Oh, right in that patch where you are. There was a transport truck that just went straight into one of these buildings here. So. Alright. Yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit fuzzy on your end because right, I'm broadcasting it to you and I'm also broadcasting it to Twitch at the same time. So, it's a bit chunky. Oh, never mind. 
fuck. It's a thing. But, uh, anyway, I'm actually going to go into the options here. Check my audio. And I'll just go ahead and turn voice volume all the way down. Uh, that might have been the wrong volume. Oh, it's my SFX volume. Here's the voice volume. There it is. Okay. There we go. Alright. Still a lot of artillery coming down on all sides. Got some smoke artillery peppered in there as well. And it looks like WN4 belongs to the line. At least for now. We'll have to see what happens. Okay, we've got Panzer IV rolling in here. A couple of ATs. Got a non-penetrating hit. That does look like a uh, Sherman medium silhouette over there. This is going to get hit by the AT. So now I'm penetrating hit on the tracks there. Oh, he takes out the squad lead. Tough luck. Yeah, but he's sitting out in the open. He's going to get AT. Uh oh. Right. I forgot to mute my Twitch stream because I'm a big dummy. So I'm going to go ahead and mute that. And I'm actually going to close that. There we go. Apologies. Oh man. The Sherman Medium here rocking up on this bush. He's going to whiff the shot. Panzer IV is lining him up. He gets a side armor hit. And he gets taken out. Ooh, man. Tough luck. That medium crew is uh, quite quite fortunate there. Looks like there's a tiger over here as well. Tiger's advancing up. I would imagine medium's position's been called out. He doesn't see him yet. They don't see each other yet. I'm trying to figure out where they're at now. He's got a little bit of an edge with that little berm on that trench, though, to cover his tracks. Oh, yeah. It's like the tank commander is out repairing right now. Interestingly enough. Tiger's backing off. I would imagine he uh, doesn't want to make himself a target over there. More artillery just raining down, absolutely hammering everything. They must have a lot of nodes up there. Yeah. I believe... Let's see about this here. Well, they're not quite targeting each other. So, yeah, it looks like a full set of nodes up from the line here. And what's this? They've also got... Let's see. It should be all. There we go. They've also got uh, recon in the, in the lines. Uh, the line has recon in HLPL's RD pit. So we've got the Sherman advancing up. It's a very bold maneuver. He's probably hunting that tiger. Oh, he hoping absolutely he is. He already got a hit probably, on him. Probably hoping for a rear shot. Yeah, well, he's going to have a hard time. It's an assault here. Looks like there's uh, Panzer II Lux light tank up ahead. He's not going to be able to do anything, except maybe take the tracks off. Wow, this... Uh, the Sherman medium here, really pushing his luck. Far away from any infantry support. 
Looks like there's an outpost over there that a uh, bunch of guys spawned on. Now let's check and see what the tiger's up to over here. Okay, he's got crewmen out repairing right now. That's what's going on. Once again, got the Sherman Medium over here. Yeah, but if you look at it, the Sherman Medium's got eyes on him, and the Tiger's got no eyes on him. Yeah, well, both of them are pretty fairly concealed right now. You can just barely see the silhouette of the Tiger over there in that bush, right yes, where the cursor's at. Our human is surrounded, but you know, he's got soldiers right in front of him, enemies. I'm wondering where the uh, where that Lux went. Looks like he's over here. Let's take a quick peek at that. It's already got some damage on him. He's trying to light up this house over here with all the infantry. There's an AT walking up on him. Watch this guy go boom with the satchel. Where'd that Sherman Medium go? Is he dead? I'm trying to find him right now. I leave for one minute and he's gone. There he is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like he might be going for the flank on the tiger. Put himself in the ditch. Tiger's looking for him. Tiger's got the turret rotated behind him now. They're paranoid. Uh-oh, looks like the medium uh, needs to unbog itself here. Shooting at the dirt in front of him in frustration. Tiger's still looking around. And let's go back over to WN4 briefly here. Got a single squad lead out here. He's oh. hoping to get an outpost to make a push. Gets a hit, gets hit again, and he's down. TL knocked. Got him. I guess you could say he knocked him out. But enough with the terrible puns. Looks like our, our tiger friend is getting hit now. He's got one side armor hit. A couple non-penetrating hits to the front. And he gets taken out by the Jumbo 76 on the field. Very nicely done there. Atrocity. more skirmishing happening over here. It looks like they've got, he, uh, 76 has got engineers actually with him, so he's got, you know, he's got backup. Well, he's got a support and a squad lead on him. Well, what just blew up over there? Yeah, good question. Let's check it out. Got more smoke artillery coming in. Got the 76 advancing up along this road here with some infantry support. Looks like November, Charlie and Alpha are assisting him. It's a pretty clean push going on here. There's an AT waiting in ambush on the other end. Oh, he gets taken out by Artie. I believe that was Artie. And that's going to be that's going to be TL's bombing run. So the 
line being very aggressive here. They actually just bombed out this road and it looks like they're making a play for uh, Sunken Bridge right now. That is a very aggressive play. Oh, tough luck. Looks like uh, HLLPL has a Gary here. But uh, seems that it's been taken out with artillery. They've got guys desperately trying to stop the advance here by spawning in, but keep getting taken out. Will the support spot the Gary over here? Uh, he sees the bodies. Oh, he's going for it. And they're on top of the Gary. That Gary's going to be red hot. And poof, there it goes. Gets the Gary. TL Gill. Very nicely done. Very clean execution there. And it looks like they're going to keep advancing up into Sunken Bridge. Got lots of smoke coming in. Got a single squad lead out here. Cut off from his support. He spots the tank. And he gets taken out by the AT. That's going to be quite a devastating push there. Let's see if, uh, see if they have garrisons anywhere else. All right. Actually going to send something in chat here real quick. There we go. Just wanted to tell our viewership that we're on a 15-minute delay. So, surprisingly, despite the number of people they have on the strong point here at Sunken Bridge, they haven't started capping it yet. Looks like they are finally contesting it. It is being contested right now. And it looks like... Looks like HLPL is going to try and retake it. It's a big push coming in. Some smoke. As we know, smoke always favors the moving team. Two MGs. It's like that uh, Jumbo 76 is advancing up. It's going to provide some fire support. Mr. Bomek out here in the bush. What will he do? Ooh! Mr. Bomek with the Sturmgeschutz. Sorry, the Sturmgewehr. The Sturmgeschutz is a tank destroyer. Wow, he gets the rifleman, spots the tank. He's not going to be able to do anything to that tank other than call it out at this point. And, uh, damn, okay then. Looks like they moved up to the uh, pillbox here. Got the engineer on the other side. He's looking for him. He doesn't see him. Oh, and he gets let go of fied by that nasty trench gun. Didn't know it was War Crime Wednesday already. Oh wait, that's not for a few days. What? Nothing like a 12 gauge to the guns. Yeah, well. In this game, if you get hit with all the pellets, it just jibs you. You insta-jib. You turn into a Lego minifigure. You get Legoified. like some AT rockets, some bazooka rounds are going back and forth here. We've got we've got this push going in still on Sunken Bridge. This is a very coordinated effort by the line. HLPL and CC are 
going to have a very difficult time holding this one off. And if we check the map here, you see there's not one but two jumbo tanks. It looks like the second jumbo is another 76 over there. Take a quick zoom in on him. Will they be able to hold Sunken Bridge? Something tells me they won't. This is a very difficult thing to counteract here. So it looks like the garrison is going to be on this side of the creek over here. That's where HLPL and CC are reinforcing from. Just making their way across that ditch. Looks like the line, this guy's moving up the ditch. It's going to be some pretty tight engagements in here. Oh, bloody nine gets dropped. Tough luck. Darth Sauron. His luck has run out. He's face down in the water. We got Sarge, Cafe de Mocha, pushing up. They're going to take out this flank here, it looks like. They push in. AT rocket going in. Sarge is tossing some kind of grenade. Looks like a frag. Didn't quite get him with that. Oh, and there's an outpost in there. So they all spawned in. The outpost goes down. This can be a tough fight here. Sarge goes down. Bloody Nine goes down. And they do manage to stop them from coming in. Losing their outpost in the process. And their squad lead. Wow. That was tough. Disadvantage to the water is you die, there's no resing you because you drown before you get medic. True. I don't see very many medics. You, you don't often see medics in pro games like this. Not sure why. I mean, there's a lot of arguments against using medics in the, in the meta, but I mean, you know, there's time and a place, I think, anyway. But, uh,. It looks like Sunken Bridge has been capped, despite HLPL's best efforts, and they are holding it now. And it looks like they're basically their whole team is going to be back at Mammut Radar, holding that out. See the Polish commander here, he just committed Sepeku. I'm not seeing a whole lot of, you know, opposition tanks to, you know, the line. Yeah, the line is, uh, pretty well dominating with their tanks this game. Aside from the first couple tanks at the beginning, I haven't seen anything else out of, uh, HLPL. Which is not surprising, considering the amount of artillery we're spending. Correct. I mean, if we take a look here, we can see. So the line is actually pretty low on munitions. In fact, with 20 munitions, they can't even do a supply drop. You need 50 for that. Uh, they've got 450 fuel. They've got about 300 manpower. So, eh, you know, if they wanted to set up an airhead, they could do that. Especially now that they have 400 manpower. And it looks like all that just got spent here. So, I would imagine, I would imagine there's an airhead going in. Maybe not an airhead. Okay, they, they didn't encourage. That must have been it. So, they pretty much spent 400 resources to uh, double their node production here. So, they're up to 90 a minute on all the resources. Wow, looks like the line is starting to push Mammut Radar now.
this is uh it's quite impressive here what they're what they're doing so they are shelling near where that garrison is looks like the commander just spawned in down there We've got a guy named kaboom he might be living up to his name here in a minute well, it looks like the line is just pushing and not giving them any chance to dig in. Yep, you know, just keeping that forward momentum going, pushing as hard as they possibly can here. And, I mean, this is quite effective. You've got the two jumbo tanks, jumbo 76 tanks, rolling up now. They're a bit cut off from infantry support. There's an AT over this way. See if the, what the AT does here. Got the two tanks covering each other right now. Looks like the AT guy has a satchel loadout. He's going to try and plant a satchel, and he gets picked off by the friendly AT. Wow. Yeah, that's smart tactics. You, have, a, you have, a, have, have an AT guy covering your butt. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wow, and they're already capping Mammut radar. This is insanity. What will the Axis powers do? It's like they found the Axis node here. They're not bothering with it. There's a Panzer IV over here, it looks like. There's a quite a big cluster of infantry moving up here but they're out in the open and they've got they've got this jumbo 76 just tried to use a panzer shrek on the front armor that's not happening wow wow this is incredible panzer 4 does get taken out looks like by the 76 over here and they're already they're already on top of the radar Wow. I'm interested to see if uh, there's a reinforce in anywhere. But, oh my gosh. Yeah, Jumbo 76 versus Panzer 4. We know how that's going to end, especially when you got two of them. Wow. Wow, that's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. It looks like uh, looks like the day belongs to the the line. That was a uh, was that a sub thirty? Did you see the timer? Did it go below uh, an hour? Yeah, it didn't take long. Yeah. Wow. That's you know that's just about the um, that's kind of the the nightmare scenario for the polls here because they got into that game and pretty much the line they capped the center point which was WN7 it's a really tough point to retake with all the barbed wire going on uh, and you know they just they kept getting pushed from there there was a really good push on sunken bridge uh, they were able to cap that and they just kept the forward momentum going and you know it turned into a into a steamroll and this is the kind of thing that happens all the time in hell let loose uh obviously pro tournaments are no exception to that but that is a really tough loss and um frankly i think both teams did great they did a great job but uh it just so happens sometimes that uh you get outplayed and that's it so I don't know. What do you think, Crotalus? I think the difference was the fact that they that the line with they had armor, they had it protected, and they just kept the push and they kept the armor with with the infantry. They, you know, yeah. They just... Yeah, it's a good point, and you know, um, it's interesting you mentioned that because, like I said right before the beginning of the game, the line pretty much wrote the book on tanks. They've got the They've got the tankers Bible or the tank Bible as they call it. And there's, I think I want to say there's an entire section in there about pushing up with infantry and, 
you know, that's exactly what they did. They went for the combined arms tactics and, uh, you know, that's very effective and they use that to rule the day. So, I mean, you know, it, it's not, it's not, um, unheard of that if you do that, you're, you're just going to win. So Utah beach is kind of an interesting map. There's lots of open fields. There's also some hedgerows and, um, really the terrain just got exploited quite a lot. Like as they were pushing in, uh, they had their tanks take point. They were dropping smoke from the artillery. So, um, yeah, very, very impressive game. Um, surprised that it ended that way, frankly, but you know, these things happen and, uh, it was very fun, fun to watch. And, uh, I, I really enjoyed that, but yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. So, and that's going to be it for the line versus HLL, PL, and CC for the qualifier round one. Um, I don't have the tournament bracket pulled up here. I can't really show it to any of you, but um, generally, yeah, that's pretty much what we got here. So. Um, I don't know, Crotalus, any closing thoughts here? Well, that just demonstrated how effective the HE rounds are when you when you bring when you bring armor with to, to count points. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So man. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to see where the line goes next. Uh they're a very strong team, very well coordinated. Um I'm not sure if HLL Polsky is gonna get knocked out of the tournament or not. This is a qualifier, but um, you know it might be just for the placement match. I should have I should have read up on this before I casted today, but um, I mean, wow, that's that's incredible. It really is. So, all right, everyone. Well, that's going to do it for this stream. Um, I'm gonna be jumping over and looking to see who I can raid on Twitch, but generally. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's all there is to it.